What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Tuesday, and welcome to In The Metal. We should have recorded this intro last night when we were fully dressed and hanging out drinking, not in our pajamas. But instead, today you're gonna get the hangover Sunday Italian version. So, let's do it. I've owned this watch for 16 months, and in that time, I've kept it far away from Instagram. I knew that if I slipped up and posted a quick wrist shot, it would be almost immediately snatched up and shipped off to somewhere far too far from me. And frankly, I just wasn't ready to let go. So what is it? It's a Rolex Datejust, reference 1600. It dates to 1968, and it features one of the most incredible dials I have ever seen. It's definitely a variation of gray, but in some lights it seems olive, and in some others, Havana brown. It features not only every one of its original tritium loom plots, but a Sigma stamp at six. It is without question one of the most beautiful vintage watches I have ever owned. And because I just can't keep everything, it's finally here on In The Metal. This one is pretty damn wild too. It's an Omega Seamaster, powered by the 344 caliber. It dates to 1953, and it's got just one of the most sexy Omega dials I've seen. Originally, it was probably silver, but something about the way it was finished, paired with the natural exposure it's had for the last 60 years, turned it into an incredibly subtle rose. The Seamaster holds a very special place in my heart, so finding this one was definitely a pleasure for me. And finally, this. A total Mac Daddy in the vintage Rolex world. It's a reference 5500, dates to 1958, and it's got just an unbelievable gilt dial. Over time, like the Omega I just showed you, the dial's finish has weathered away, but what's come as a result is so much more unique and special. A wonderful charcoal marble dial, which works as a perfect canvas to all the gold print, alpha hands, and indices. This type of dial is typically found on Submariners and GMTs, and when it is, it's priced within the realm of absurdity. So for me, it's incredibly cool to be able to offer a same piece of that history at a fraction of the price. This watch is so good, I felt it would be a crime to not pair it with an equally special strap. So it's on our supple French calf Manhattan, and like the other six watches that just hit the TNH watch shop, it's ready to go. So head on over, discover them all, and enjoy. <laughs> 